What's up guys? We are actually in Yosemite right now, waiting for the waterfly. Waterfall. Firefall. Firefall, fire, fire, fire. Firefall. So today is February 18th, I think. Sounds mm -hmm. right. I guess 17th and 18th is one of the best days. Which... Ah, through the 19th, yes. Look, too close for comfort. So this guy right up here. Is the gaping butthole. Yes, peep it. If you could see, has a resemblance to that. But uh, that situation later on, I think, they say from noon till seven. That sounds very... Sounds like the cable guy. Yeah. Time slot there. Just, just waiting around. <laughs> from I, noon to 7 p.m. I think they say that because it takes that long to literally get a parking spot. I think that if you don't get a parking spot around this time, it's going to be absolutely insane. So today is actually a Friday and we're here. It's like a little after 1.15. There are quite a bit of cars here. But yeah, that thing, I'm thinking around 4, 5-ish. I'll let you actually know the time that it happens because I didn't see anything online. But uh, this thing should light up like a firefall. Not a firefly, not a waterfall, a firefall. So, should be pretty cool. We'll check back in later. Just peeping the uh, little river situation right now. They're doing some controlled burns, so it looks like beautiful California. Smoky, smoky, smoky. Only you can prevent forest fires. A little vantage point by the bridge here pretty cool um this field might be a good spot there's a sweet looking tree this thing is looking like an x cool looking tree right here you could post up on i don't know i'm gonna kind of go this way maybe go to the store get some brews something and then come back post up so this little area can cut us over to the other side I saw a ton of people with camera gear just like popped up pointing at a certain angle. Maybe they know the angle. Here's a little information station. Apparently the water level was here in 1937, 1964, 1950, 1955, 1990 freaking seven. It's a floody ass year. That means this whole area was a, a juicy lake, I guess. Oh, wow. That's crazy, that's, that's insane. Yeah. Just for a little perspective, from a little short person. This is that 1997 flood year. Faded out picture, but yeah, this whole thing was a lake. That's insane. And then there's the dome, or at least half of it, right up there. Super hazy, they're burning California fires. You know the drill if you're from California, but super cool. So again, it's February 18th. There is some snow on the ground still. A little bit. We've been here in January before. Super cool where it's just like all snow and there's literally like five people here. That's the time to go to Yosemite if you guys are unaware. I mean, I would say obviously there's lots of times to go, but if you're not looking for a bunch of visitors, go when it's like 10 degrees out. That's the, that's the time to be here. Pretty cool. Legend has it, these are actually heads. It's the whole thing. All right, so major problem here. Oh, no. This is Yosemite Falls. I think that's Upper Yosemite Falls. And then there's Lower Yosemite Falls, like eh, through those trees in that area. I actually think the one we want to look at is over there, <laughs> which is not great. But uh, we'll probably have to make our way back that way because I think that's where they're posted up. It's funny. I don't know. When you get into Yosemite, you kind of kind of get turned around because the roads are all left, right, all of that stuff. So, I think I'm gonna check back in with you guys. I'm at the correct waterfall, but that's why you do this early. Oh my God, yeah, so, let's go. Yeah, so we're actually gonna have to go back way. that way. Got a couple does chilling in the in the meadow right here. No, we haven't missed me. Checking back in, like I said, yes, that is Upper Yosemite Falls. The one we're looking at, so Yosemite Falls, that one, Need to be like right over, I think, here. What's crazy is this place, like so many freaking waterfalls, they all look the same. But anyways, we're gonna go over there. I think we're gonna go get some brews at the uh. Yosemite store first, and then walk back. Where is it? 
that way. There's the lower Yosemite Falls with a couple deer in the foreground. Kind of cool. So there's so many spots where you just like, I don't know, you turn a certain direction, you don't see it, and now you see it. So that's why we're going to try to figure this out, viewing-wise, where it's good. Earlier when we were coming down this way, you could see all the cars posted up. There's already people posted up, like all the way, seriously, all the way down that way for like the next three or four miles. Um, and they're already posted up in their spots. And then we saw a camera spot where like or 15 or 20 guys with cameras. I'm assuming that's the prime zone, so we're gonna try to find that in a minute. So the shuttle right now does not run the full park. That's only in the summertime. Uh, but I think when we come back from here, we're gonna take one kind of over there, save about a mile of walking. Village store. This place is awesome. It's like the best store ever, man. Whole Foods slash 515 doesn't exist anymore slash all the good things. Let them bite you. What? You'll notice that uh, most of the animals in Yosemite, but you get way too close because people feed them all the time. But it's kind of cool, but also kind of not because they don't really eat on their own. Hey, dudes. So now we're actually walking past Camp 4, which this is about the furthest that the um, little transit thing is going to take you. Don't get taken out by sticks. And uh, Camp 4 is actually really cool. I actually want to camp here sometime. It's a nice little parking lot and you can see that it's just, it's just basically for tent camping. Some of the other places uh, have kind of more of a pull-in style where you could like bring a pop-up tent or a car or something along those lines. but. This area just really has like tent set up, which is cool. I think it's where a lot of the uh, rock climber people hang out because they will go to like El Cap and all that stuff right around here. But yeah, we're gonna walk that way now. This is where like kind of the last Firefall parking lot is too, but they said this gets absolutely crazy later on. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a last ditch parking oh God, spot, look, this would be the area too. That. So this is the uh, little information thing pause it right here if you guys are interested in what this says but uh yeah it's all the areas where people like set stuff up <laughs> so falls, in the parking. this is kind of the parking lot it fills up very large what yeah you can see there's like a ton of people down here so they kind of like block off the road just doing this video so you guys can see what to expect but they only have one lane going because humans are going to be walking on these trails people are posted up in their cars camping out over here it's pretty crazy honestly and it's only uh it is three o'clock in the afternoon right now i think sunset is 4 45 or something but it's 5 41 or something what did i say 4 45 no just kidding it's 5 41 is sunset so you can see that there are quite a bit of people and then these dudes park information maybe we'll peep what they say all right so from the road right here it's 245 right now you see where the sun is right there in the sky next to the mountain right there i don't know what that means but well, that's a reference for you guys i don't know I'll check in later Sheesh. so sometimes it seems like people know it's fine. you're not quite sure they're just posting um, what i look for is a lot of photographers which i saw up here on the right hand side earlier. This is a uh, famous little spot right down here. People post up, get some cool pictures of the valley. All right, so we're crossing this corner. Basically everything in Yosemite seems like it's closer than it is. Like, There's a dude in a red like shirt up there, cameraed up. And that guy seems like he's on a damn mission and this seems like the way. But now we got a tip of the thing and then the sun's there. So, I have got a while, but anyways. Bathroom, good to know. Uh, a bunch of people posted up right here, and I know there were people posted up around the corner. It's that situation right there, so like I said, I was totally wrong at the beginning, but that's the thing you're looking for. Um, yeah, probably 10 people set up right here, 
And I think I saw about 20 people set up down further earlier. Okay, yeah, so this is like one view right here. We'll get behind the tree branch. Yeah. Boom, they right there. Water, so that could yeah. be pretty sick. Cool, thank you. Probably run back to this area. Okay, finally, now you see a lot more people posted up. We got people with camera gear over here. So this guy right up here, that's the situation. It sounds like it's a waterfall, but honestly, no water on that. This looks kinda, I mean that I could tell, shiny. I don't know. But a lot of people posted up over here. A ton of people posted up over here. So yeah, this is definitely the uh, the spot. See all the humans. Boom. Nature's ice chest. So that's the move right there. And anyways, we found this like tree situation. I would bring chairs if you can. But uh, yeah, this spot right here, not horrible. Post up until I see something, and then probably run around like an insane person trying to get different angles. But uh, yeah. That should work. What do you think? How far was it? Honestly. It seems a lot closer. Because Yosemite doesn't, doesn't mean you have to walk everywhere. Dude, Yosemite is like, it's always like, oh, it's just right around the, the angle of the rock. But then the rock's like three miles or something. But anyways, we're here. Cool log. Lots of people posted up. So uh, yeah, we'll just chill until like everybody goes. Ooh, uh. And then we know it's happening. So I'd probably bring some brews to the situation. You can use a little ice chest. But uh, yeah, it is currently, so you know the time, 305. So 305, there's probably 200 people in this immediate area of like 100 yards. At least, how many do you think? So 200 at about three. If I went further that way, I think there's more. Um, and people are just pouring in. So yeah, is it like the 4th of July? We'll find out, man. I have a feeling it's gonna get uh, pretty crowded. Show the beer. It's getting chilly. So this dude down here is speaking some moist. 5.40 and 6 o'clock, apparently. Now, we heard from him that last time he missed it because he was face on. So you gotta see it from the side. Now, if you're looking at me here, here's the mountain, this side over on this side. So that's where you're gonna wanna see it. And oh my God, my battery's getting low. So it is 5, 12. It's getting kind of red looking. It's starting to look pretty cool actually. I think it's starting to change. It'll start to change at the top first. So I kind of get a vibe there. Slight vibe, red vibe, digging it. All right, 520, it's starting to get kind of red right now. Again, it's looking pretty cool. Not completely fireflied, but uh, it's changing. So it went at like 5, 10, 10 minutes. It was kind of just whatever. And then it kind of came back for a sec there. Pretty cool looking. See there. Okay, feeling the vibe again of the red. 526. Pretty cool. All right, so there's this crowd right here. A little bit of Doge, hanging out. And then uh, over in this crowded area, kind of see it from this view right here. Cause I think it's also pretty cool. Pretty cool, different view. All right, so right now, you can kind of see the top of it, just lighting up like right, to my finger, nope, right at the very tip. It does kind of change. It is 5.24 right now. So it changes with like every minute, obviously, with how the sun is and all that. I guess when it's a windier day, you will have like a better spray, a better like fire fall effect, if you will. But so far it's looking pretty cool for the last, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I think there's a dude on a freaking, on the rock up there, which I just noticed. A little red guy. 526 and uh, it seems like it's 526 seems like it's pretty much toast and done so yeah that's pretty much it. All right so what do you think Rach? 
looks like I waited all year, like years to want to see that. It's just, I don't think the ideal conditions, you know? Yeah, still cool. Yeah. Probably need a little bit more wind, I would guess, so maybe. More water. Like more water. Keep going, come on, dude. Maybe not a drought year, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, crazy amount of people. It is 5.30, basically exactly. So now the uh, <laughs> is happening, and uh, yeah, go to the car. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh my god! All right, so word of advice: bring a scooter, bring a bike, bring a skateboard. Get back to the car. That'd be a good idea. Um, yeah, there's a ton of people. It's cool. Something different. You got to cut across. Get back to the car. Oh yeah. Back to the car. Uh, we parked kind of in this area by Yosemite Falls. Um, so that place was like not here. It's all the way over there. So yeah, it's a bit of a walk, but good spot right here to have our stuff or whatnot. So heck yeah.